In the tremendous spread of the universe, people have long contemplated whether we are separated from everyone else. We've looked at the stars, pondered far-off universes, and read up on the potential for life beyond our small blue planet. That potential has, at last, worked out as expected. NASA's boss recently declared that the James Webb Space Telescope, our window to the universe, has caught something exceptional. Support yourself, for on the edges of our inestimable area, an extraordinary mystery has been uncovered. Life has been recognized on a world called Proxima B, and it changes everything. The science of the environment of exoplanets that pass before their host stars is fascinating. Join us as we uncover the privileged insights exposed by the James Webb Telescope and what the revelation of life on Proxima B could mean for the fate of room investigation and all of mankind. The James Webb Space Telescope is a logical wonder that vows to change how we might interpret the universe. The telescope's refined innovation, joined with its novel position in space, gives researchers a remarkable perspective on the universe and permits them to concentrate on far-off systems, planets, and stars in a manner that has never been conceivable before. This does sound like a lot of void cases, however, it's really got the tech to make all of that genuine. One of the JWST's most exceptional highlights is its essential reflector, which measures 6.5 meters in distance across. This is over twice the size of the essential mirror on the Hubble Space Telescope, which has been quite possibly one of the most significant tools for space investigation throughout recent years. With such a huge mirror, the JWST can catch the slightest flashes of light from the most far-off pieces of the universe, parts that the universe of science hasn't generally had the option to see. Researchers since forever ago have simply hypothesized about what lies past the cutoff points of a conventional telescope. However, with this one, they can at last see the genuine detail that they've been dreaming about this entire time. Notwithstanding its huge mirror, the JWST is furnished with a suite of cutting-edge instruments that are equipped for identifying in an extensive variety of frequencies of light. The near-infrared camera NIR cam, as it's typically called, is an amazing asset intended to catch pictures in the near-infrared locale of the electromagnetic spectrum. For what reason is this significant? Well, near-infrared light can infiltrate dust mists that darken visible light, permitting us to peer further into the vast profundities. NERCOM's high-resolution imaging capacities give space experts a front-row seat to observe the development of stars and systems. This instrument's primary goals include studying the early universe and its first light, investigating the development and advancement of galaxies, and distinguishing and portraying exoplanets. The point-by-point -point pictures caught by NIRCAM reveal stowed-away subtleties and structures that were previously distant to telescopes. It helps us comprehend how universes gather and advance over time and offers insights into the intricate processes that shape our vast area and beyond. However, that's just one instrument. There's also the Near Infrared Spectrograph, NIR spec, which takes the investigation of stars and galaxies to a new level by separating the light emitted by heavenly objects into its component colors or frequencies. This process, called spectroscopy, reveals pivotal information about the chemical composition, temperature, and motion of these objects. NERSPEC's capacity to investigate the spectral marks of stars and galaxies gives researchers careful insights into all that it examines. Analyzing the absorption and emission lines in the spectra allows specialists to determine the elements present in a star or galaxy, revealing the building blocks of our universe. This information helps us understand the life patterns of stars, the development of galaxies, and the perplexing interplay between these heavenly bodies. On top of that, NIR spec likewise plays an imperative part in the investigation of far-off high-redshift universes. These worlds emit light that has traveled billions of years to reach us, providing a glimpse into the early phases of the universe. Analyzing their spectra helps astronomers infer their chemical composition, age, and other characteristics, shedding light on the whole development of galaxies throughout cosmic history. When it comes to studying the mid-infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum, the mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, on the JWST takes center stage. MIRI has been explicitly designed to observe objects emitting infrared radiation at longer frequencies, enabling us to explore diverse phenomena from the formation of stars to the identification of exoplanet climates. One of MIRI's primary goals is to investigate the dusty regions where stars are born. 
Infrared radiation can penetrate these dense dust storms, allowing Miri to look through the enormous darkness and witness the birth of stars and planetary systems. It captures detailed images and spectra in the mid-infrared, providing astronomers with invaluable insights into the physical processes occurring inside these heavenly nurseries. However, that's not all. Miri also plays a significant role in the search for and characterization of exoplanets. It does so by observing in the mid-infrared, as this allows Miri to detect and analyze the faint thermal emissions from exoplanet atmospheres. This capability opens up opportunities for studying the composition, temperature, and dynamics of exoplanets, including their potential habitability. Miri's observations help us determine the presence of water vapor, carbon dioxide, and other key molecules that could indicate the conditions necessary for life as we know it. Yet, those are just parts that might support life. How does the James Webb Telescope look for indications of something going on under the surface? Two of the primary processes it utilizes are spectroscopy and atmospheric examination, with the assistance of the four instruments we've just discussed. You see, a planet might not have oxygen and plants everywhere. While those are indications of something going on under the surface for us, that's not scientifically the basis of life on a planet. So, the telescope needs to get really specific. At the core of this process lies spectroscopy, a method that allows researchers to analyze the light emitted or absorbed by an object to determine its composition. When it comes to exoplanets, spectroscopy helps us unravel the molecular secrets hiding within their atmospheres. When the JWST sets its sight upon an exoplanet, it eagerly awaits a transit event, a divine spectacle where the exoplanet passes before its host star from our perspective. As this happens, the JWST carefully observes the starlight filtering through the exoplanet's atmosphere during the transit. Equipped with its state-of-the-art instruments, the JWST captures this precious light. NIR spec specializes in the near-infrared region, while Miri takes charge in the mid-infrared space. Together, they form an unstoppable team, covering a wide range of frequencies essential for detailed analysis. But you might be asking, why does this matter about capturing starlight during a transit? Well, this starlight carries significant information about the exoplanet's atmospheric composition. As the light passes through the exoplanet's atmosphere, it interacts with various molecules present, leaving behind unmistakable marks, like molecular fingerprints, etched on the cosmic material. The JWST then works meticulously to analyze the observed light using its spectroscopic capability. Researchers can identify specific molecules present in the exoplanet's atmosphere by examining the absorption or emission lines in the light spectrum. Each molecule has its own unique set of spectral features, so they all have their own identities. They just need to be investigated and pieced together to bring the whole story to one coherent page. To achieve precise results, the JWST conducts extensive modeling and calibration. It relies on complex simulations and reference spectra of known molecules to match the observed spectral features with their corresponding molecular identities. Think of it like cross-referencing a divine dictionary to decode the exoplanet's atmospheric language. Yet, Identifying the presence of specific molecules is just the beginning. The journey for indications of life requires a more comprehensive approach. Researchers look for molecules that are considered biomarkers, substances that could potentially be associated with life as we know it. As we've mentioned before, these biomarkers could include gases like oxygen, methane, and water vapor, ingredients that are essential for sustaining life on Earth. However, even then, Additional observations and data are needed to assess the overall habitability and potential signs of biological activity. To enhance the search for life, the JWST also uses comparative spectroscopy. Instead of studying individual exoplanets in isolation, researchers analyze multiple exoplanets with similar characteristics to make meaningful comparisons. The idea behind comparative spectroscopy is to identify consistent patterns or deviations among the observed spectra of various exoplanets. Infrared radiation's unique ability to penetrate thick dust storms grants MIRI the power to peer through cosmic fog, providing a breathtaking view of the astonishing birth of stars and planetary systems. It meticulously captures detailed images and spectra in the mid-infrared spectrum, unraveling the intricate physical processes within these divine nurseries. However, 
Miri's role extends beyond star formation. It plays a crucial part in the quest for exoplanets and their potential habitability. By observing in the mid-infrared spectrum, Miri detects and analyzes faint thermal emissions from exoplanet atmospheres. This vital capability enables researchers to study the composition, temperature, and dynamics of these distant worlds, offering insights into their suitability for life. The observations conducted by Miri assist in identifying key molecules like water vapor, carbon dioxide, and methane, fundamental ingredients for life as we understand it. Anyway, the presence of these molecules alone doesn't guarantee habitability. Additional factors must be considered to comprehensively evaluate the potential livability of exoplanets. The James Webb Space Telescope utilizes comparative spectroscopy. This involves focusing on exoplanets with similar characteristics, size, mass, distance from their host star, among others, to make meaningful comparisons. Comparative spectroscopy enables researchers to identify recurring features or anomalies in the spectra of these exoplanets, providing valuable insights into the presence of life-related molecules or processes. By examining molecular absorption or emission,